really hot and sunny today. I'm putting on sunscreen so I don't get sunburned. You want some, Moby? Are you sure? It's really sunny. What is the sun? The sun is a star. A star is a body of hot gases that makes its own light and heat. The sun is at the center of our solar system, and all the planets orbit around it. The sun is the closest star to the Earth, but it's still about 93 million miles away. The sun is a lot bigger than the Earth. You can fit over 100 Earths across the middle. The sun is the largest body in our solar system. But the sun is just a medium-sized star. There are lots of stars that are even bigger. They just look small because they are farther away. Good question, Moby. What is the sun made of? The sun is made of burning hot gases. It's made mostly of hydrogen and helium gases. Right, Moby. Those balloons are filled with helium gas. Inside the sun, the gases go through changes, which give off a lot of energy. The outer part of the sun is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's over 5,000 degrees Celsius. But the core, or center of the sun, is a lot hotter. It's about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit, or about 15 million degrees Celsius. Our oven at home only goes up to about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Why is the sun important to the Earth? The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. It gives our planet light and heat. Without the sun, Earth would be pretty dark and cold. I don't think we'd be able to survive. Almost everything on Earth depends on the sun's energy in some way. Many food chains begin with the sun. Plants use the sun's light to grow. Animals eat plants, and other animals eat those animals. The sun also helps power the water cycle. The sun warms water, and then it evaporates into the air. Water droplets come together in the air to form clouds. Water can fall out of the clouds and return to our oceans, lakes, and other bodies of water. Then the sun warms up the water, and the cycle starts again. The sun plays a big part in weather changes. Earth is tilted at an angle. The sun hits different parts of the Earth in different ways as it orbits the sun. That's why places go through different seasons at different times of the year. Right, Moby. The sun is very important to our planet. It gives off a lot of light and heat, which are forms of energy. In fact, people can take the sun's light and turn it into electricity. That's called solar power. How do we know so much about the sun? People have been studying and tracking the sun for thousands of years. Stonehenge is a monument in England that is over 4,000 years old. Parts of the monument line up with the sun during different times of the year. Over 2,000 years ago, the ancient Chinese studied the sun. They observed sunspots, which are cooler, darker areas of the sun's outer layer. Ancient people who lived in the area that is now Mexico built pyramids to honor and track the sun. The Aztecs and other people followed the path of the sun 
and created calendars. Hundreds of years ago, people used sundials to help tell time. A shadow on the sundial points to the time of day. Now, scientists use powerful tools to study the sun. NASA launched a spacecraft to gather information about the sun. We can't land on the sun because it's too hot, but we can study it from far away. Remember, you should never look straight at the sun. It can hurt your eyes. Instead, poke a tiny hole in a piece of paper and hold it up to the sun. Don't look through the hole. Cast a picture of the sun on another piece of paper. Anyway, Moby, you should put on sunscreen, or else you'll get sunburned. Uh oh.